Happy Wednesday! This is Mike with Lab Society, and today we're going to go over how to set up a benchtop SPD vacuum system. So today what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and connect this vacuum pump to the AI T80X cold trap, and then eventually to our 20 liter G3X system. So first thing I'm going to do is use my nice tool chest here to find out what I've got. Um, I've already assembled this portion here. Um, whenever you're using one of these welded KF25 sensors, you want to make sure that you're using a screened O-ring gasket here. And the reason for that is it protects gunk and stuff from getting up inside that sensor. So for this application, I'm going to use sensor 2, which corresponds to my digital PVM2 right here. And I'm going to install this on the pump. At the pump, you'll notice I've got this screen gasket that's shaped like a sock. This helps keep physical contaminants out of the vacuum pump. Most pump manufacturers will include that with it. Um, it's important to use those to keep these oil-based pumps free of physical debris. So something else I like to do is I like to make sure that when I'm assembling these, I assemble as many of the parts off of the system just to make it easier for my hands to move around as I can. So this valve here is going to be the next part that goes over here. Um, and an important thing about these valves is we're going to want to make sure that, first of all, they're clean. This one looks a little dirty here. We're also going to make sure that the valve action is in the correct direction to the flow of vacuum. So the valve action on this is up and down via this threaded valve, which means that the gasket that actually seals the valve hits this orifice here. So that means we're going to be wanting to pull vacuum against that, because if we're pulling vacuum from this side, there's a chance that, you know, we could get some air sneaking through the seal. So it's going to get installed onto the T at this direction. So I will assemble this off of the system. These regular O-ring, we want to make sure that these are, you know, free of debris and not misshapen, dry rotted or anything. All of these little parts are integral to the seal of your vacuum system. clamp here. Go ahead and assemble this onto the pump. I already have my exhaust line fitted here. Um, typically you'd want to put an exhaust filter on here, but I'm waiting on my element to be replaced right now. Um, I have to go pick it up from our warehouse, but uh, right now I just got my exhaust line piped up into our hood up here, which is very important to keep any of those harmful odors out of your lab and away from you and the other people in your lab. So we're going to look over here at the T80. Um, notice I've got these capped as well. I'm going to go ahead and pull these off. And then hopefully I have two 90s. If I don't, I can use a T with a cap. Looks like I don't have two 90s. So I'll probably put a 90 right here. And then at the top to make this turn, I'll do a 90 with a cap. Cool. And then coming out of my system, or actually rather going into the cold trap, I'm going to use another type of valve. This one's an inline valve. So this one I'm going to put right here with this on top so I can get closer to my actual distillation system. Cool. All right, so now that I've got all my parts, I can start assembling. So all of these clamps, we want to make sure that they're hand tight. We don't want to wrench them down with wrenches because if you do that, you risk the, um, a, the potential of actually cracking these aluminum clamps. They're aluminum and honestly, just a little bit of force will seal them and you can actually test that out with your vacuum sensors. So no reason to crank them down and break them. Attach this over here. Okay, so now I've got my outlet to my pump from my cold trap, and then I will connect from here to here. I'm going to connect the flex fitting last and all the hard tubing first, for obvious reasons. Make sure that I have enough flex to make all my connections and I'm not putting extra stress on anything. It's convenient that I have the piece of flex down here because what it does is it allows if this cold trap moves a little bit, it's not going to 
put any stress on any of these inlets or outlets to the vacuum pump and keep everything nice and protected. All right. Got my sensor wire right here, so I can plug this in. This is going up to that PVM2 up there. Make sure all these are nice and tight. Again, finger tight, no reason to do anything crazy. I'm gonna close this valve. Last thing to do here is connect our inlet to our cold trap, and then we're ready to assemble the actual glassware of the system. So now we've got our vacuum system completely assembled from the pump up to the, the, to the system. So the next thing I will do is grab a flex hose. This will probably be how I connect to the actual SPD system up here. Um, and now we're ready to build our glassware. Thanks for watching.